Hi, this is a quick video to show you uh, my latest addition to my photography. This is the Nikon FM2. It's a fully manual film camera which uses uh, 35mm film. Now, I've already got a 35mm film camera, the Pentax K1000. So, this begs the question, why did I add this particular camera? Well, the reason being is, um, firstly, the, the K1000 had a faulty light meter, which meant I had to use a, a, a separate light meter to, to make sure it exposed properly. Uh, and for that reason, I figured it was a little bit unwieldy, so I decided to get myself one of these things. Now, this has a number of other advantages over the Pentax. For example, if I show you the sh shutter speed, it goes up to one four thousandth of a second, and it has a sync speed, flash sync speed of one two hundred fiftieth of a second. So this is very, very good in terms of, um, basically, if you want to do flash photography or if you want to use a wide open aperture when it's very bright outside, you can do it because, of course, using film you cannot change your ISO once you've loaded your film in there okay the other reason why I got uh, a Nikon instead of for example something like uh, an Olympus OMD uh, not OMD OM1 or Canon AE1 or any other camera was basically because I still have a few Nikon lenses when I switched over to um, to using Sony I didn't sell my Nikon lenses I still have a few and as a result, I've got a really nice 1.4 lens, 50 millimeter 1.4, and it it just suits the camera right down to the ground. It's a beautiful thing, okay? So let me show you some of the other features that this thing has got. Um, I'll take this off, okay? That's what it looks like without the uh, thing. And as you can see, it just looks... Even though, I mean, the production of this thing ended around, if I'm not mistaken, around 2001. This may be one of the newer models because it's in really, really good condition. There's a few scratches on the bottom, uh, but all in all, it looks very nice. Uh, I paid £155 for it, which is kind of like a mid-level price. There are ones which are a little bit more expensive. Okay, so some of the features. I've already mentioned the shutter speed. And I told you about my lens. It's got a, some really cool features. Uh, this thing is a self timer. So when you cock it and you press this button, the shutter button, I think that's a really cool feature. You know, it's a self timer, it's completely mechanical. The only batteries this uses um, are those little button batteries for the light meter. Everything else is purely 100% mechanical. And that's, that's to be applauded, really. It really is nice to use. And when you press everything, it just has that. It's just a very, very nice sounding, nice feeling camera. And that's. Uh, one of the things about photography. Photography is basically all about aesthetics. Anyone that says otherwise is um, is, is is basically fooling himself. Um, it's all about looks. This camera looks good and, and it feels good as well. And that's very, very important. Uh, other things, uh, let me see. It's got this thing. Now, I've never used this properly. It's, it's can you see? There's that. This is a multiple exposure thing. If you hold this back, so it goes back a little bit, and you do that, it cocks the shutter without uh, winding on the film. So you can do multiple exposures. So you can combine, you know, three, four exposures on one frame if you wanted to. Of course, if you do that, you're going to have to be quite careful of your exposure. Okay. Um, let me see what else is really good. The viewfinder. Now I've had a little bit of trouble trying to get uh, get you to see the, the viewfinder from the camera. But I'll give it a shot. Let me just put this against here. Okay, first of all, dun, dun, dun. can you see it? You see that zero? That red 
Okay, it's slightly overexposed there. Can you see? And so what I'll have to do is now it's slightly underexposed. So between that and that is the perfect exposure. So that's pretty good. <laughs> that's that's a really nice touch. What else can you see from this? Okay, let me just get this lamp out of the way. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, there you see it's on F2, that's the aperture. Now it's 1.4, you see? So the aperture, you can see what number it is through the viewfinder. It's a purely mechanical thing. I, I think it's, it's brilliant. And that thing there, that is the shutter speed. Can you see that? 30th, 60th, 125th, 250th, goes all the way up to 4,000th. That's a very hard thing to say, 1,000th of a second. Okay. And it's got like this split, uh, split prism viewfinder okay so the idea is when you get it in focus everything there you see that's in focus that's out of focus it's kind of like a rangefinder system but it's in an slr it's amazing it really is um it makes things so much easier to focus now this is the other thing if If the Nikon DF was, let me reject the lamp, there we are. If the Nikon DF was anything like this thing, I would have been all over it, okay? As it happens, uh, the Nikon DF is a really bulky, quite fiddly camera. This is a joy to use. Nikon DF, I really like it. I actually like the looks of it, but if they had it, more similar to this and I don't see why they can't um, I don't see why it needs to be as big as it is and as fiddly as it is this doesn't need locking things all over the place uh, it just works and I think if they used that same philosophy for the DF they would have been onto a winner um, that's it really it's just a very robust very nice looking very nice feeling camera and if you're thinking of going into film photography and you haven't quite bought yourself um, a film camera, I would highly recommend this. I'd recommend this more than the Pentax K1000, which in itself I think is really good, but I think this one's better. Um, one more thing. When I, I bought this um, on eBay, and I think the Japanese are really into their presentation because they they put these things in the box as well. I don't know what these things are, but if you know what these things are meant to be, maybe it symbolizes something, I don't know. But if you know what these are, just put it in the comments below. And that's it, thank you for watching, bye.